Yeah, Slurp. I don't, I don't know much about Slurp. I don't know much about him either, but here we go. We're getting right into a game number one. Aglet's Jigglypuff versus Slurp's Fox on Battlefield. I'm Resolute, joined by my man Scrap Metal. So uh, one, one thing I've noticed right off the bat is that Slurp is going for a lot of shines, um, which is actually working out well for him. So, so here's the thing about shine, is that against most characters, like, it's really good because he, he gets like pressure, but against Jigglypuff, you can actually use Jab pretty much everywhere you would use Shine, and it, it actually gives you a better reward. Just because Jigglypuff's slower out of shield options, I'm assuming? Yeah, and well, because she's so floaty, you can actually combo off of your Jab too. So it's like, whereas if you if you Shine her, there isn't much of a follow-up you can get. And he tries to get that up smash out of shield after power shielding down air, but some great movement from Aglet keeps him alive. Slurp keeping Aglet on the back foot so far. Gets him with fair to dash tech because he missed the tech. And he misses another tech. Let's see if he gets this edge guard. Yeah, Aglet committed really early to grabbing the ledge there. I don't think that was a, a good idea because even like Slurp can just see that he's on the ledge and know to go up there. So I think even, even if you want to take the ledge there, you should pretend uh, you're still covering other options and then just go at the last second. By the way, Slurp did, of course, throw away that st throw away that stock. So now he's trying to find a way in. I'm looking for that pound to jab reset combo. Ooh, good shine there from Slurp. Shine back here. We'll clean up the stock. Good stuff. Slurp playing really aggressively off the ledge. That's that's something most people are scared to do against Jigglypuff. But uh, he he, he looks like he knows what he's doing. Yeah, I guess he plays against a lot of Jigglypuff. This matchup considered Jigglypuff's probably hardest matchup in the game is the Fox matchup. Just a lot of difficult stuff. Fox yeah. is so fast and kills her so early. It's a it's a tricky one. Ooh, and he caught him double jumping literally right as the jump came out. He back aired him. Nice stuff. The the thing is because Fox is such a popular character, like every Jigglypuff is gonna know this matchup, you know. So they, yeah. they sort of know how to compensate and get a uh, get low percent kills like that back air chain. Aglet on the ledge now. Slurp actually just letting him come back to the stage. I don't know if I agree with that. Try and keep that pressure up. No, oh, and we have up tilt to up throw, and oh, he was looking for a roll in, and Ooh, nice, bait. yeah, just baits out that pound and runs with up smash to end that stock. Two stocks apiece, slurp, pretty high percent, but not not like up throw to rest percent, luckily, so he doesn't have to look, work, look out for that for the time being. Yeah, so he, he played really aggressively off stage early on, so I, th I think he was sort of looking for that pound, like he thought Aglet was going to start adding that in to, uh, right. to mess with his pressure. Is that a shield drop from Aglet? Good tech. Proud of you. <laughs> and up throw. Oh, good read on the tech roll. And he's just continuing to put on damage. He knows he's a stock ahead. He doesn't have to risk any rests or anything like that. Up throw, up air. Is he going to do it? He's going crazy. Look at the Oof. damage. Yeah, Slurp, Slurp really needed to, after the first up air, he needed to start DIing them. Because yeah. once you miss the DI on the second one, like that combo is just it's too brutal. And Aglet goes ahead and takes it. Slurp gets battlefielded on his last stock. And let's see what the counter pick is going to be. So usually Puff will... This is kind of interesting. Puff will end like, Stadium. And then Fox will want to go to, like, Yoshi's if he's aggressive. I'm actually surprised Aglet switched to Fox. I mean, Jigglypuff is kind of his thing. <laughs> see how this works out. Nice. Drill Aglet, Shine. Aglet definitely plays... Uh, he plays his Fox and Friendly sometimes, but it's just kind of like... He doesn't really practice a lot of technical stuff, he just kind of does weird stuff that he thinks is cool. <laughs> I, can, I can see that. That's classic Aglet. Alright, up throw chain grabs. Oh, he misses the re-grab there. And now it's Slurp's turn, he goes for up throw up air. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that you, you need to warm up or, you know, main the character to do. With the up throw chain grabs. <laughs> You need to either warm up or main the character. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever Aglet's doing is not either of those options. Ooh. Aglet trying to go for a tech bait something. He could have just w reacted to the missed tech, honestly, and would have gotten enough smash. Yeah. He... That time he just ba he just assumed. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to miss this tech. Up smash. Well, I think Aglet messed up a shield yeah, drop. Yeah, he was, he was messing around trying to set up a shield drop. But, uh... And he gets him killed. Yeah. Ooh, good bait on that spot dodge, and these double shines from Slurp look so fancy. And he's putting on so much damage. Oh, he should have done that up air just a little bit earlier. He had all the time in the world. Up air off the top? No, he jumps away. Not quite. And Slurp has started to bring this back, even though we lost the first stock. We have 
up throw, up tilt, another up tilt after some weird <laughs> platform interactions. And that back air will do it. Aglet's still in the lead. So we're not we're not seeing a lot of like I guess standard combos from either one of them. They're just they're just hitting them a couple times, knocking them down, and then trying to read the way they're gonna come out of it, you know? Nobody's going for Thunder's combo, for example. Nicely done by Aglet, and that might have just sealed this game. I mean Slurp can of course bring this back, but it's it's a rough life at this point. That was such a great edge guard. Takes the stock, now only a stock behind. Let's see what he can do though. <laughs> the Aglet grab. Grabbed him out of just dashing at him and the accidental shorten. Aglet takes it 2-0 after switching to his Fox secondary. Interesting. I didn't even know he had a Fox secondary. Might uh might be testing it out for uh, some of the other Foxes here. Yeah, he needs to needs to learn a top tier, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I just realized I have no idea where my controller is. Side bets on What's my it look like? I know what it looks like, and I, I'm. I, it might be in there in the 64 room, but side bets on it getting stolen. <laughs> I, you know, not a lot of stuff gets stolen at Xanadu. Not recently. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet against being stolen. I'd, I'd probably bet against it being stolen. Not on top of that, if someone like ever shows it again, it's got some pretty defining features. I oh, really. Well, okay, it's got one defining.